Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to identify font from an image. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So let's just first start off with an image with font that we want to identify. So I'm actually going to just take a screen snipping of a little area on this Google results page. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop here. So let's say we want to identify what this font is. What we're going to do is just navigate over to Google. And you want to search for font. And you want to search. And you want to search for font identifier. So we're going to go to the first link here, identify fonts on fontsquirrel.com. And I'm going to go ahead and select upload image. I'm going to go ahead and upload that image here. And it's going to highlight the text that you wish to match. And I'm going to select the match it. It should give you what it considers to be the best results listed on this page here. And of course, they're going to try and want to sell you different things. A lot of sites are like that too if you want to download it. But it just tells you what the font name is right under it. So it should get you pretty close with similar matching fonts. There were several, if not dozens, of different websites that offered this as well. So you're welcome to try multiple sites if you're not getting the results you want with one particular one. It really depends on the quality of the image as well. Some images are easier to be read than others, and I think some site services are just better than others as well. So it might be a little playing around in, to some extent in order to find the right site that gives you the best result. But anyway, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of sites, and you shouldn't have to pay for any of this stuff. If any site is asking you to pay to identify the font, I would just skip it and move on to a different website. But pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.